It's been a bit of trial and error. We've learned a tremendous amount about uh, how to take care of patients with uh, coronavirus. I mean, initially we were having trouble even identifying them because we didn't have the testing available. No testing and also not much known on a cure. When we first uh, started doing the convalescent plasma, the FDA had just uh, issued a protocol. We were one of the first hospitals in the country to jump on the protocol and and give it to uh, a couple of patients on the last weekend in March. They were soon joined by dozens of other hospitals across the country in what has become an ongoing learning experience. In order to keep that research going, though, Baptist Health needs plasma donations. Last weekend when I was on call, I got especially concerned about it when we had to use a, a substantial part of our supply up. We, have, we do have additional doses, but uh, we don't have enough, and we also don't have enough of certain blood types. Dr. Doherty says they definitely need blood type B from those who have tested positive but have been symptom free for three to four weeks. Overall, though, he says all blood types are running low, especially as they try to prepare for a spike in cases. He realizes it is another ask to the community and thanks Kentuckians for being patient with health care and with science. I think that everyone in the country made sacrifices, uh, both emotionally and economically, you know, to try to deal with this. I think it did really help patients. Uh, uh, you know, we know that it's time to get back to work and get the economy uh, back up and running. Uh, but it did give the medical community time to figure out how to deal with patients. Deal with patients so they're better prepared to keep fighting the virus. In Lexington, Claire Kopsky, LEX 18 News.